Yo, what's up, people? What's up, Crash Flow? I know it's been a minute. I haven't really been consistent with the videos, but I definitely had the urge to get on here and say what's up to you guys. Crash Flow is still alive. Crash Flow is still going. And uh, I got some things to talk about this week, so I'll definitely be in tune. Um, but I did want to do a really quick Now You Know with a guy that I bumped into recently. He's kind of one of my all-time favorite skaters, and I was just like, man, I just... I saw him and I was like, man, I just love the way this guy skates. I always, I've always been a big fan of him, but, um, and it kind of just goes back to a certain style of skating. Like the last time I think I did a video about Anthony Papalardo, who is definitely an all time favorite. And this guy kind of a part of that whole era and still is, um, this guy named Danny Renat, Danny Dirt. Uh, I met Danny a long, long time ago and, uh, always been a big fan I mean he I think the first time I saw footage of him he was he did a front side flip on this drop-in over a planner thing in Florida but it was just so good he had such a great style and he was like same age as me and he just had like the slow-mo ender of the Florida section and I was always to be honest I think I was always a little jealous of him you know he just at the time I loved Habitat and I wanted to get on and then right after that clip came out he got on Habitat and I was just always like, man, this guy's so good. But he, you know, it wasn't like the techest guy or nothing, but what I love about him, what I, it's not, it's not, I mean, it's similar in a way, but it's just trick selection and style. And um, I mean, Papalardo, they, I don't, I wouldn't compare the two, but I'm saying like, those are two things that these two guys were just were great at. It was like every trick that they picked were just the best tricks that they were good at. Super clean, super popped, everything's just so smooth. And I just always been such a big fan of Danny Renard. So I want to do a part, and now you know his part in Mosaic. Because uh, especially this video part, when it came out, I was blown away. I was blown away. Um, there's so many. I don't even know where to begin. It, it really wasn't even like the craziest video part. It's hard to explain. It's just when you watch certain people skate and the style and the certain tricks that they picked and the way they did stuff. I mean, if you look at his part, he really doesn't do the same trick twice. And I always kind of like that, even though, because I think that's one of my challenges in skating. Skating can be repetitive. And you see the same shit over and over, because it's so hard, you got to do the same tricks over and over again to get them down. But to do a trick over a double set, you have to be really, really good at it and do a lot. So then, you know, you end up seeing certain skaters with the same tricks over the same stuff and the same parts and all that stuff that gets a little boring and repetitive. But I feel like that was one thing I loved about Danny when he did stuff. He did it great, perfect, and you kind of rarely saw him do it too much of things. It was just like, oh, there it was. Did that one. The next one. Um, tricks goes on and on. I mean, he wasn't like an ender ender guy. He was just like a great, amazing skateboarder and still is. And I'm just a big fan of the guy. So I wanted to bring him back to him. No, I remember. You know how sick of the years and this part of Mosaic is definitely it's up there as one of my all-time favorites. Danny Dirt. Cheers.